The Trump administration imposing those new sanctions on Russia related to Syria's alleged use of chemical weapons after Friday's airstrikes were carried out by the U.S., France, and the U.K. Bloomberg editor Ross Krasny following all of these developments from Washington. Uh, let's talk first about these sanctions. Expectations are Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin is going to be announcing sanctions tomorrow. Uh, Betty and Heidi, yes, a very interesting comment today uh, from Nikki Haley, of course, the, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations. She said that uh, Mnuchin would be announcing new sanctions on Monday, but uh, we've been working the phones today and, and haven't come up with more details. So hmm. it uh, really remains to be seen exactly what will happen tomorrow uh, and if, uh, if they'll go ahead as she has indicated. In one of the interviews she had today, she was a little bit uh, less definitive and said that something may happen. Then she came out, as you know, uh, on CBS and said that they would happen. So uh, the Treasury Department, as a rule, will not comment on pending sanctions. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. um, as we know from the Commander-in-Chief, uh, President Donald Trump, he said uh, on Saturday that it was a mission accomplished in Syria right. uh, after the, the bombing raid on uh, our Friday night. So uh, didn't indicate anything coming really from his side that there could be more on Syria, but uh, we don't 100 percent know. Uh, that's right. It's still unclear. I mean, it sounds like, though, from some of the interviews with the allies, though, Boris Johnson, for instance, uh, noting that, you know, this is one and done. You know, this is one strike and there isn't any more, which may be the reason why the markets have not reacted as violently as you might have expected. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, in early trading today, we see uh, U.S. stock futures look like they are strongly higher. So they are really taking President Trump at his word about one and done, about mission accomplished. And he kind of said the same thing today as well. Uh, he uh, chastised the press for not uh, not believing that it was mission accomplished and, of course, making the historical comparison with George W. Bush. But for now, I think, uh, you know, based on everything that we've heard from the U.S. and U.K., uh, we won't see anything more by way of military action, at least for the time being.